The numbers are staggering, an unprecedented 8.4% increase to old age security payments starting January 2025. This isn't just another routine adjustment. It's a seismic shift in how Canada supports its aging population. For the average senior citizen, this translates to an additional $984 monthly, potentially transforming retirement from a time of financial stress into an opportunity for dignity and comfort. But here's what the headlines aren't telling you. The real story behind this increase goes far beyond simple dollar figures. Let's rewind to understand how we got here. The past five years have seen Canadian seniors facing unprecedented challenges. Skyrocketing housing costs, medical expenses climbing faster than inflation, and the lingering economic impact of global events have created a perfect storm of financial pressure. Many of our elderly neighbors have been forced to make impossible choices between filling prescriptions and paying utility bills. Others have quietly sold family homes, downsizing not by choice but by necessity. The statistics paint a sobering picture. Before this announcement, nearly 30% of Canadian seniors were living dangerously close to the poverty line. This is where the new OAS increase steps in as a game changer. Unlike previous adjustments, this boost isn't just keeping pace with inflation, it's actively working to reshape the financial landscape for our senior population. The increase takes into account not just basic cost of living changes, but also the unique challenges faced by older Canadians. Think about prescription medications that aren't fully covered by insurance, the rising costs of specialized senior housing, and the increasing need for home care services. This boost acknowledges these realities in a way previous adjustments never have. But here's where things get interesting. The ripple effects of this increase will touch every corner of Canadian society. Local economies, especially in communities with higher concentrations of seniors, are predicted to see significant boosts. When seniors have more disposable income, they spend it locally, at restaurants, shops, and service providers. This creates a multiplier effect that economists estimate could generate up to $3 billion in additional economic activity across the country. Small businesses that have struggled to stay afloat might find new life as senior customers regain purchasing power. The healthcare implications are equally significant. Financial stress is directly linked to health outcomes, particularly among older adults. Studies show that seniors who worry less about money tend to maintain better health, follow medical advice more consistently, and engage more actively in preventive care. By reducing financial anxiety, this OAS increase could potentially save our healthcare system millions in avoided emergency room visits and crisis interventions. It's a prime example of how social policy can have unexpected but powerful downstream effects. Let's talk about the practical impact on daily life. For many seniors, this increase means no more choosing between heating and eating during harsh Canadian winters. It means being able to join grandchildren for special occasions without worrying about the cost of transportation. It means maintaining independence longer by affording necessary home modifications or part-time help. These aren't just financial changes, they're quality of life transformations that restore dignity and autonomy to our elderly population. However, there are complexities we need to address. The increase isn't uniform across all income brackets, and some seniors will see more benefit than others. Those with higher private pension income might face clawbacks that reduce the net benefit of the increase. Understanding these nuances is crucial for financial planning. We'll break down exactly how different income levels will be affected and what strategies seniors can use to maximize their benefits under the new system. The timing of this increase is particularly crucial given demographic trends. Canada's senior population is growing faster than ever before, with projections showing that by 2030, nearly a quarter of Canadians will be over 65. This OAS increase isn't just responding to current needs, 
it's preparing for a future where senior support will be increasingly important to our national well-being. The policymakers behind this decision are clearly thinking long-term about Canada's changing demographic landscape. International comparisons add another fascinating layer to this story. When we look at how other developed nations support their elderly populations, this increase puts Canada among the leaders in senior financial security. Countries like Norway and New Zealand have long been held up as models of elderly care. But this change positions Canada to potentially surpass them in certain aspects of senior support. It's a bold statement about our national values and priorities. The implementation process for this increase is also worth examining closely. Rather than a sudden jump, the government has designed a phased approach that allows both seniors and the economy to adjust gradually. This thoughtful implementation strategy includes support systems to help seniors understand and adapt to the changes, ensuring no one falls through the cracks during the transition period. Local service organizations and financial advisors are already preparing to help seniors navigate these changes effectively. But perhaps the most compelling aspect of this story is what it says about our society's values. In an era where many countries are cutting back on senior support, Canada is making a decisive move in the opposite direction. This isn't just about money, it's about recognizing the contributions of a generation that built our country and ensuring they can live out their golden years with dignity and security. It's a powerful statement about the kind of society we want to be. The environmental implications of this increase are surprisingly significant. With more financial security, seniors are better positioned to make eco-friendly choices in their daily lives. This might mean upgrading to energy-efficient appliances, investing in home insulation, or choosing greener transportation options. While these might seem like small changes, multiplied across millions of seniors, they could have a meaningful impact on Canada's carbon footprint. Looking ahead, experts are already analyzing how this increase might influence retirement planning for younger generations. The knowledge that OAS will provide more substantial support in the future could affect how people save and invest during their working years. Financial advisors are beginning to adjust their retirement planning strategies, taking into account this more robust government support system. It's creating a ripple effect that could influence financial planning across all age groups. The political implications are equally fascinating. This move sets a new precedent for how governments approach senior support, potentially influencing policy decisions for decades to come. Future administrations will find it difficult to roll back these increases, effectively establishing a new baseline for senior financial security in Canada. It's a policy decision that could shape political discourse around senior care for years to come. One of the most heartening aspects of this change is its potential impact on seniors' social isolation. Financial constraints often force seniors to cut back on social activities, leading to loneliness and its associated health risks. With this increased support, many seniors will be able to maintain more active social lives, participate in community events, and stay connected with friends and family. The mental health benefits of this increased social engagement could be substantial. The technology sector is already responding to this shift, with seniors having more disposable income, companies are developing new products and services specifically targeted at this demographic. From user-friendly tablets to innovative home automation systems, we're seeing a surge in tech solutions designed to enhance senior life quality. This increased purchasing power could drive innovation in ways that benefit not just Canadian seniors, but elderly populations worldwide. The impact on family dynamics shouldn't be overlooked. Many working-age Canadians currently provide financial support to their elderly parents, often straining their own resources. This OAS increase could reduce this burden, allowing families to focus on emotional rather than financial support. It's a change that could strengthen intergenerational relationships and reduce family stress around money matters. Real estate markets might also see interesting shifts, 
With more financial security, some seniors might choose to age in place rather than downsize out of necessity. Others might finally have the means to move to retirement communities they previously couldn't afford. These changing patterns could influence housing markets across the country, particularly in areas popular with retirees. The impact on senior entrepreneurship is another fascinating angle. With a more secure financial foundation, some seniors might feel empowered to start small businesses or pursue passion projects they've long delayed. This could lead to a surge in senior-owned businesses, bringing valuable experience and wisdom to various sectors of the economy. For immigrant seniors, this increase holds special significance. Many who arrived in Canada later in life have had less time to build up pension benefits and personal savings. The OAS increase provides crucial support for this vulnerable group, helping ensure that all Canadian seniors, regardless of their origin, can maintain a decent standard of living. The education sector is responding too, with financial literacy programs being updated to reflect these changes. Community colleges and senior centers are developing courses to help elderly Canadians understand and maximize their benefits under the new system. This educational component is crucial for ensuring that seniors can take full advantage of the increased support available to them. Healthcare providers are also adapting their approaches, with seniors having more resources for preventive care and lifestyle improvements, medical professionals are adjusting their treatment recommendations accordingly. This could lead to better health outcomes and more personalized care options for elderly patients. But perhaps the most profound impact of this change is psychological. The knowledge that society values and supports its elderly members enough to make such a significant investment in their well-being can have powerful effects on senior mental health and self-worth. It's a clear message that seniors matter, that their needs are important, and that their contributions to society are recognized and valued. As we look to the future, this OAS increase might be remembered as a turning point in Canadian social policy. It's a bold statement about our priorities as a nation and our commitment to supporting our elderly population. The true measure of a society often lies in how it treats its most vulnerable members, and with this decision, Canada is setting a powerful example for the world. The challenge now lies in making the most of this opportunity. For individual seniors, this means carefully planning how to use these additional resources effectively, for communities, it means creating support systems and programs that help seniors maximize the benefits of this increase. For the nation as a whole, it means continuing to build on this foundation to ensure that all Canadian seniors can truly enjoy their golden years with dignity and security. As the sun sets on another day in Canada, millions of seniors can rest a little easier knowing that their financial future is more secure. This isn't just a policy change, it's a transformation in how we support our elderly population, a recognition of their worth and an investment in the kind of society we want to be. The 2025 OAS increase isn't just about numbers on a page or dollars in an account, it's about people, dignity and the future we're building together.